President Trump campaigning in the state of Wisconsin last night calling for unity following a series of bombs mailed to prominent Democrats. My next guest was at that rally, Wisconsin Congressman Sean Duffy. Congressman, good to see you this morning. How'd last night go? Hey, Sandra, good to be with you as well. Listen, it was an awesome rally at Central Wisconsin at the Mosny Airport. Uh, you know, you had a, a big Wausau uh, contingency there. Listen, the, the, the president, as always, was on fire, but a little bit muted. You know, he didn't want to go, you know, too hard after Democrats, after the bombs had been uh, sent out yesterday and now today. But he was spot on. And he said, listen, we're going to call for civility in America. Um, but I, I think when you want to, when you look at what the president's saying, civility has to go both ways, right? I mean, you can't have uh, d Democrats attacking Republicans. Republican candidates in California and Nevada and two in Minnesota, all in the month of October. Um, and you have Kathy, Kathy Griffin holding up a, a, a head of Donald Trump and now is back in the good graces of Hollywood. And, you know, you have young people who wear a MAGA hat, a Make America Great Again hat, and they're afraid of getting beaten up or on college campuses, conservative speakers can't speak. And lo and behold, Democrats are asking for civility. I mean, Joe Biden was just out saying, I want to beat the hell out of Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton saying we can't be civil anymore. This is going to bring the temperature down. Both sides have to say, listen, let's 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 let's, let's sheath the the anger and, and 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 the rough language. And let's talk about policy and politics in a far more toned down fashion. One what frustrates me. I, I, I'm a member of Congress with Steve Scalise. And when the shooting happened, uh, on the baseball field. It was a Bernie Sanders volunteer. And Republicans said, you know what? Uh, lo and behold, it's probably not Bernie Sanders who did it. It's probably not the fault of Democrats. You get some deranged people who are on the right or the left. We didn't try to throw hate for days with 24-hour, you know, panels, you know, talking about Democrats and how ridiculous they are. We kind of accepted it for what it is. Here in this situation with these bombs, we don't even know who did it. And the 24-hour news cycle is going on and on and on about how was Donald Trump's fault. Um, I, I think conservatives are so sick of being blamed um, for things that Democrats don't take credit for. You know, Chuck Schumer, ranking Democrat, he's uh, he's sending out a, a statement via Twitter basically saying uh, he, he doesn't buy it, the, the president's response. He wrote this, President Trump's words ring hollow until he reverses his statements that condone acts of violence. The White House uh, was asked about this this morning. Sarah Sanders uh, uh, was on Fox and Friends, and she responded to whether or not the president plans to change his tone. Watch. The president is going to continue to point out contrasts of policy between uh, Democrats and Republicans. People absolutely have a choice to make uh, on what they believe in, and it couldn't be clearer. And we're going to see that happen in the next couple of weeks when the elections take place. And the president's going to continue to lay out that case. But at the same time, we're condemning violence and calling on all Americans to come together. And, of course, Sarah Sanders herself was one of the first to come out and condone those acts of violence uh, immediately after this yesterday. And this is someone who was chased out of a restaurant herself, Sarah Sanders, or Mitch McConnell chased out of a restaurant, Ted Cruz, who can't sit down with his wife because liberals are so unhinged they'll chase him out of a restaurant. Um, so, yeah, no, I think, I, I think what the left wants here, Sandra, is they want Donald Trump to flog himself and then say, you know what, the liberal media, you can lie about me. You can tell mistruths about what I'm doing. Try to uh, present that to American. You just want me to be silent about it. Donald Trump's a fighter. And if you lie about him, you, you try to spin the story in an untruthful way, he's going to stand up, punch back, fight back, and tell the American people what he's actually doing. Mm -hmm. I, I was watching one of the liberal networks a couple days ago about what's happening on the border with the caravan coming north. I couldn't believe the presentation that was coming from the left and how untruthful it was. I, I, I think conservatives and independents and most Americans appreciate Donald Trump standing up for common sense, conservative American principles. And in Wisconsin, you mentioned Donald Trump was here for Scott Walker and Leah Vukmir. Scott Walker running for governor, Leah Vukmir, Vukmir running against Tammy Baldwin for, for the Senate. Mm. We're in a tight race. A lot of people write off our state, Sandra. And, you know, it's these kind of things well, the that president happen in did. liberal media. Let's say, the president certainly did not do that last night. Let's hear a little bit of, of, of that rally yeah. in Wisconsin. These courageous Wisconsin patriots did not shed their blood shed their sweat and tears so that we could sit at home while others try to erase their legacy and destroy our proud American heritage. For the sake of our freedom and for the sake of our children, we are going to work, we are going to fight, and we are going to win, 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 and we are going to keep on winning like never before. 
Only have a few seconds left, left Congressman, but how's the president doing in, in, in your state? He's, he's doing well. His numbers are popping. Uh, Leah Vukmir was a state senator. She was yelled sh shame at her when they had the protests at the state capitol. She was spit on. She's about where Ron Johnson was at this time in the election two years ago. Ron Johnson won. We're surging in our state. She has a great chance of winning and being one of those upset seats that no one was watching uh, in the Senate races across the country. Congressman Sean Duffy, great to see you from Wisconsin. Thank you, you sir. Too, Sandra. Outnumbered next. Here's Melissa and Harris. Quick preview. It's popping again today. Ladies, how you doing? Good afternoon. Great to see you, Bill. Most. The information, as you say, is popping. It keeps coming in on those pipe bombs with three new packages being investigated today. Two of them were sent to former Vice President Joe Biden, one to actor and Trump critic Robert De Niro. The political blame game, well, yeah. it's in full effect. We still don't have all the facts, but right. it's in full effect. Whether we can calm the political climate at this point is the question. And the president keeping his word on that migrant caravan moving toward the U.S. The Pentagon planning to send hundreds of troops to the border next week to prevent illegal crossings. And now Democrats criticized for staying silent on the issue why they're doing that and if it's a good move. Yeah, we just got the alert of 700 to 800 yeah. of those troops moving. That plus the man in the middle to my left. He's already seated. Yeah. He likes to be early. Nice. Hi, Bill. Sounds like a hashtag. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> See you in a moment. <laughs> a you. big reward offered for information on the whereabouts of a missing Wisconsin teenager. Where is Jamie Kloss? As the one who's always trapped beneath the duvet, I'm begging you, take Gas-X. Your tossing and turning 